edition of Money in Motion video blog. This is Dan Perkins and thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about what everybody else is talking about and that is the budget problem and the debt ceiling. Um, first of all, let me say that the capital markets uh, for the last two months have been churning within a fairly narrow range trying to figure out what's going to happen with the, the budget and the debt ceiling. Um, the president yesterday was cautioning Wall Street that the if the Congress doesn't raise the debt ceiling, it could be catastrophic, was his word, for the American economy and perhaps for the global economy. And the market sold off at one point, 180 points yesterday. The market is trading within a range because of the uncertainty about what's going to be the outcome of these two more important issues. I do think that when, uh, when they're ever they're resolved, however long it takes, that the, there'll be an initial eufor euphoria, excuse me, and I would expect to see a very significant rally in the market, maybe as much as five, possibly 10%. Then as the reality of what happened as a result of the settlement, however it turns out, will probably cause the um, market to sell off and give back most of the, uh, the gain that it had in the, uh, in the euphoria. Um, interest rates have come down on the long end dramatically. Uh, I think the fact that the Federal Reserve pulled back on its, its uh, idea that it was going to reduce its quantitative easing in September. Now they're talking about December. However, I think the longer this uh, shutdown goes on, there's a greater likelihood that the Fed will continue its quantitative easing into 2014. It's interesting because the government shut down, we don't know what the jobs number was today, so we don't know what the unemployment rate is. And that's an important statistic for the Fed in their decision-making process. So the, the Fed is flying blind, blind without any information. Um, <clears throat> I think that it's, it's interesting to watch the dialogue between the leaders in the House and the Senate and the President. Um, I, I can never remember a time when the rhetoric is so vicious and so uh, hurtful and attacking uh, comparing Senator Reid talking about uh, uh, the Republicans being terrorists and uh, uh, Nancy Pelosi saying that the, uh, uh, the Republicans are carrying firebombs on their backs and uh, you know they're anarchists and just uh, really really spiteful language that they're using uh, the president refusing to negotiate they have nothing to say it's all or nothing in the highway. Um, I suspect that something will get done and that the president ultimately is going to have to uh, make some concessions. I don't know what they're going to be, but I don't see things getting done what the way the Democrats wanted them to be done. Uh, as I said earlier, I thought that the markets would probably continue to be trading within a range. Uh, up on positive news uh, about the solutions and down on negative news when the news is bad about the possible solutions. It's a difficult time to put money to work and so because it is, I'm not. Um, we have um, good cash flow from our investments. Uh, our, custom, our, our investments, even though the markets were soft in August and September, um, we are at close to uh, Within reasonably close distance to the to the all time to the high for the years in terms of asset values, and so uh, any cash that I have and I have a lot, um, I'm in no great rush unless I see a compelling opportunity to put it to work. Um, I uh, I'd rather wait and see how this thing plays out to see whether or not we're going to have cuts in the budget. We're going to have uh, a slight increase in the debt ceiling. Um, there's a lot yet to be decided and a lot of uncertainty. So when you don't know for sure what the fridge is gonna look like, you're better off just to sit and watch to see what happens. Uh, we're getting paid while we wait, which is my core philosophy. And so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna watch it just like you and uh, be assured that I'm doing my best of trying to protect your capital. The, um, the SDS and the TBT are giving us protection as bond races bond prices fall and stock prices fall. Um, and so that's dampened the volatility of our portfolios compared to the markets. So that's it for now. If you have questions, please feel free to give me a call. If you have friends or relatives who are looking for an alternative, please give them my name and number and I'd be happy to talk to them. This is Dan Perkins. Thanks for watching.